the graphs of the given equations in the xy plane intersect at a point xy. What is a possible value of x? Okay, so we have these two functions, y equals 76 and y equals x squared minus 5. So y equals 76. If we draw that on the xy plane here, we'll make some axes x, y. So y equals 76, so it's just setting y equal to some constant, is just a horizontal line in the xy plane. So it'll look something like this, just a horizontal line. And then the graph y equals x squared minus 5 is just a parabola that is concave up since the coefficient of x squared is positive. So it'll look something like this. Its origin, is, the vertex of this quadratic, is not at the origin since it's shifted down by 5 units. So it'll be somewhere down here. Okay, so we need to find the coordinates of the intersection, or really just the x values of the intersection. And we can do that by setting these two equations equal to each other. So we have y equals 76 and y equals x squared minus 5. So y is equal to both of these quantities, so we can just set them equal to each other. So when y equals y, 76 equals x squared minus 5. So I just substituted the value of 76 for y and x squared minus 5 for y. So then we can just solve for the value of x by isolating it. So let's move this negative 5 to the other side by adding 5 to both sides, which will give us 81 equals x squared. And then to find the value of x, we can take the square root of both sides, which will cancel out this squared value here. So we'll just be left with x on the right side, and then on the left side, we'll be left with 9. And since we're taking the square root of something squared, this will be plus minus x. So that means that x is either equal to 9 or negative 9. So x is equal to 9 or x is equal to negative 9. And indeed, if we plug 9 or negative 9 into this equation, when we square it, we get 81 either way. So 81 minus 5 is just equal to 76. So whether it's 9 or negative 9, the two equations here, y equals 76 and y equals x squared minus 5, they still both intersect at a value of x equals 9 or negative 9. So the graph intersects at those two values of x, and the only answer choice here that is either 9 or negative 9 is answer choice b. So answer choice b is correct.